Hi, I'm Tim and this is Leonard from the band Amara. We're here at my little studio space in Lembeke to take a look at Leonard's guitar rig. So maybe we can start off with the guitar you're holding right now. Uh, this is my main guitar that I've been using for Amara for the last decade or so. It's a 1988 Gibson Les Paul, like it says showcase edition here on the back. And it's, it's kind of a weird hybrid between a Les Paul Custom and a Les Paul Standard. For instance, it has a, an ebony fretboard, which is typical for the Custom. And that, like, that makes that it, it sounds a, a little bit more towards a Custom than a, a regular Standard would. It originally came with EMG pickups, but uh, that didn't work at all for Amin Ra, so I, I swapped those for a Gibson pickup, so a Gibson 500T and 490R. All right. Something like that, yeah. Oh, so uh, does it still have the, the cavity of the EMG battery? Uh, it, it actually never had a, a, a dedicated cavity. It, it, the battery was just in the all control right. uh, thing. Yeah, as you can see, it has been like used and abused a little bit like for instance on our last show in Russia it was someone put it uh, next to a, a light and part of the of the neck finish uh, got yeah molten molten <laughs> so, oh my god yeah so yeah i might like i'm i'm kind of on the lookout for an alternative for for this guitar uh, right. to to retire this one next up is the is my GCI guitar oh yes uh, Thank you. God. So that's God City Instruments? Yeah, yeah that's uh, Kurt Ballou from Converge who, who builds them. I got it in 2012, I think, and I've used it a lot for my other band Oathbreaker. But now that, that band's like um, non-active, I've tuned it to B and I'm using it for Amin Ra All right. as well. Are those locking tuners? Yeah, they are like some kind of planet waves. They're actually pretty, pretty brilliant. Um, planet wave locking tuners that cut off the string as you, as you tune them. Oh, so that's that's really like time saving and and super handy nice. thing on tour. It does sound quite different from the Les Paul, like in in like a lot more high trebly yeah. uh, because of the maple body. Yeah. It's also string through. I don't know if you can see this. And it's pretty heavy and yeah, yeah, I can it, feel it. That's it's also a, due to the, to the maple, I guess. That's a bit of a heavier type of wood. Yeah, it's funny because the it's actually a really thin guitar when you're looking at it. Mm -hmm. But uh, weight-wise, it definitely is in the same league as the Les Paul, I'm guessing. Um, All right, so another Les Paul. Yeah, this, this one is... Um, like my my number one guitar basically uh i've i've yeah i've loved this guitar to death and and that's actually why i don't bring it out that much with amen ra i use it to record uh and, and like for some one-off shows when i know it's not gonna be in a van yeah. freezing for three weeks or something it's 1996 and yeah just Everything you expect from a, a high-end like a Gibson Les Paul Custom, very very resonant, uh, nice guitar. All right, so it's crazy that your favorite Les Paul is a, a '96 and not one of the the older vintagey. Ones. Yeah, I, I found that that like I've, I've had some some older ones, some some from the early '80s, late '70s, but 
like construction wise i feel that the the newer ones kind of work better for me they are they tend to feel like more resonant the the older ones have like those often those like very thin necks um which can like they can feel very nice to play but they they warp pretty easily yeah. and and this this one has like a, a more serious sturdy neck uh, but yeah, offers a lot of stability. So okay, yeah, cool. I'm very happy with this one. Are those the stock pickups that are in? Um, they're they're actually not the stock pickups. I also went through a phase where I had put EMGs in, in this <laughs> guitar, and and I, I lost the the stock pickups back then. But I've I've put like the same set in like oh, a yeah. Gibson 498T uh, or and and. 490R pickups. So, so is it close sound wise with the other Les Paul since it's the same kind of pickup? It's it's close, but it's not. I, I it, this one sounds a bit better. Sounds a bit bigger still than the other one. Uh, yeah. All There's right. A no noticeable difference. Mm -hmm. 